Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and actually welcome to update 33.1 of a Universe Sandbox now. So this came out uh, a few days ago now, it came out um, this week. So this is the Planetary Defense Dart update. So if we have a read here, um, I've never actually, I haven't actually heard of this um, before. But yeah, NASA's Dart mission will intentionally collide the Dart spacecraft, or D-A-R-T, however you want to say it, um, with the asteroid Dimor. Dimorphos, attempting to change its orbit and testing humanity's ability to protect Earth from future asteroids. Interesting. Fragment temperature and glow from collisions is now realistically based on the collision energy. So, I guess the harder you, the faster something collides, the more fragments it makes, or... Oh, I see. So, low energy collisions don't generate enough energy to make the particles glow. So, it depends on how hard objects hit each other. Sometimes they may create glowing fragments, sometimes they may not. Okay. Um, camera transitions after target collides are smoother. Under the hood improvements to make reference in lunar objects more reliable. Okay. Right. Let's try this dart impact and let's see what this is all about. So, right. Let's slow down time. So, where is this asteroid located then? So, let's see. Is this in the solar system simulation or. Oh, okay. So. Ah, uh, alright. So, there's obviously full solar system. So, yeah, it is nearby Earth then, okay. Right, so, here it is. Ah! Oh, we actually have the dart. Is this actually what it looks like then? So, have we got that added as a new... New object? So, have a quick look at that first. I just want to see, uh... See that, so... Hey, Planet Nine's moved. It wasn't there before. Planet Nine was after Pluto. They moved it! <laughs> right, uh, where are we? So, I want to check human objects... So is it here somewhere? Oh, they've just used the satellite, I think. I think that's just the satellite. So it hasn't got its own thing. Okay, never mind then. Um, so let's go ahead and close that. Okay, so... Turn that off. So on to the reading. NASA's double... Okay, so double asteroid redirection test, DART, will demonstrate humans' ability or humanity's ability to protect Earth from future asteroid impacts. DART's mission is to change an asteroid's orbit by colliding with it. It's... Target is Dimorphos, moonlet of the near-Earth asteroid Didymos. On September 26, 2022, so that's actually um, two days from the time of filming this video, uh, the probe will collide with Dimorphos almost on a 6 km second, releasing about the same amount of energy as 2.5 tons of TNT, which is expected to shorten its orbit around uh, Didymos by several minutes shown by the graph. No asteroids, including... Didymos and Dimorphos currently present a threat to Earth. However, this mission will allow astronomers to study how the impact affects its orbit and assess our ability to accurately deflect asteroids away from Earth in the future. Interesting stuff. So, keep an eye on this up here. This is the graph. Right, so, play. So, it's the moon of this asteroid. So, the moonlet, I think they called it. So, here we go. So, this is a probe. Going to collide with that. <laughs> Okay, so this is really crazy stuff. Right, so, see how this works. So, it's going to go into the asteroid. There you go. All right. So, look how that has already changed as soon as the collision happens. So, pretty wild stuff. Okay, so let's see. So, let's uh, yeah, play a little faster because we are traveling pretty slow here. So, look at the trail. Is that part? I don't know, you can't really see it. Okay, but yeah, there's a... Um, that's a pretty interesting sort of scenario, that is. So can we uh, can we open that again? Um, here it is. Yeah. So let's speed it up. So keep an eye on that. The orbit. I want to see if that orbit changes when it actually collides with it at all. They said they want to make the orbit smaller. Oh yeah. Okay, it did. Yeah, I did notice. You can see. Yeah, orbital period for the time passed. So you can see the orbital period did change. By about four minutes, so it did get a tiny, tiny bit closer to the parent asteroid. Okay, and it made a big crater as well. Interesting. All right. Okay, so that's the dart simulation they've added in here. But um, what I want to check as well is I want to see this new collision physics with the power of a collision to see if it creates enough fragments. So, for instance, if I'm going to put Earth here, so I'm going to put I'm going to shoot an asteroid into Earth. 
So, a random asteroid, yes. So, I'm going to shoot that into Earth. Uh, slow down time. Okay, so, we'll shoot it there. Right, so that's at 4.15 at launch velocity. So, there we go. So, it doesn't really make any collision fragments at all. Actually, I want to do let's do that again actually because I wasn't I was running the simulation a little faster. So we're gonna do that again. So I'll fire it there again. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna times this up and see if it makes more collision fragments. So we're gonna have an asteroid going a lot faster here. And I want to see if that creates any different sort of fragment appearance. So here we are. See maybe we do need to speed up time because that thing is going a little slow. Okay, it's about to go into the earth, almost there, okay. Okay, there you go. So you can see there's some little uh, little fragments there. Nothing too insane. But now I'm going to fire that in there. So that's going a lot faster. Let's see if it creates more fragments, maybe. It does. Yeah, you can see this a lot more powerful. Straight up. Okay. So what if I go something a little bigger? Um, let's go with Pluto's moon, Charon. I'm sure that would be a, a decent-sized object to... Uh, See how this new new sort of thing works. So here we go. Alrighty, okay, so this is probably gonna create a big one. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that's a huge thing. So look at those fragments. So yeah, they're all very, very bright in colour there. So really wild stuff sort of do is we'll let that all cool down again. So there we go. Ooh. Go ahead and delete all the particles. Okay, so we need Earth to cool down. Okay, there it is. So, now I'm going to try... I'm going to go at a very, very slow velocity. So I'm going to make it go like ridiculously slow. And I'm going to see if that has any sort of difference in the uh, impact appearance. So I'm going to fire it there. Oh, it looks like Roosh Limit's tearing it up as well. But this is travelling a lot slower than it was before. Okay, oh, I mean, the particles are smaller. They are a lot smaller than they were before. You can see it's created nowhere near the amount of uh, shockwave it did previously. Okay. So it does vary how fast objects are, how much collision. Okay. So what if I try... I mean, maybe... Moon, moon? But I want to go, like, really, really slow. So meters a second, so it's barely moving so there it is so the moon that's traveling a lot slower oh yeah okay that's a big one <laughs> i think it sped up as it approached the earth okay hmm so let's see what else um i'm just reading so they put up here okay so fragment temperature and glow from collisions are now realistically based on the collision energy low collisions like the one shown here okay so, low so anything with low collision energy. So I'm going to try... They use the moon as an example here. So I'm going to use the moon. I want to see if I can sort of get this to show. So, moon. Where are we? There it is. Okay. Let's put the moon there. Right. Now I'm going to go with random asteroid. We're going to launch it. We're going to go very, very slowly. So we're going to go 55 meters a second. We're going to fire it there. Okay. Okay, so there you go. So you just saw there the fragments were not glowing hot whatsoever. So we're going to do that again. Uh, that may be a little too slow game. <laughs> there we go. So let's speed up a bit. So, for instance. Okay, so it's traveling up one minute there. So we should see the fragments go in. So it should create more grey fragments rather than hot fragments. So there you go. So if we just pause it there. So you can see they're not glowing hot. They are literally just darkened out. So we can see the temperature of these fragments... It's minus 87 degrees, so you can see straight away, those, well, that is one of the new features there. But again, if I was to do the same, or, or do another asteroid, but we're going to make it go faster here, I'm going to launch it there, then I press play, you can see immediately that this one has way higher and way more bright collision fragments. That's pretty cool, I like that. Oh, that looks cool as well. Um, interesting. So again, we'll do that again. So fire that there. So you can see straight up. But yeah, that this one, these ones are creating more sort of bright fragments rather than the slower asteroid, which created smaller fragments. So that, there is a good example there. So you can see this collision here made these glowing fragments. 
but while the original collision over here made those darkened out fragments. I like that, that's a cool little addition. So, pretty cool. Um, so again, if we were to do a bunch of smaller collisions, so let's go back down to the meters a second here. So fire a bunch of objects, um, I guess here, there, sort of everywhere. <laughs> okay, and then uh, speed up time. So they're all gonna fly into the moon, I hope. Or are they? Or are they going to go that way? Well, what's all this? Uh, we'll move the moon then. Yeah, they're definitely going to fall into the moon now. Okay, so let's watch these guys as they uh, crash into the moon here. So you can see straight away, yeah, the darker fragments. That is really cool. I like that. Yeah, that's good. That's really cool. And then again, another example, we'll go for a, again, a larger speed uh, collision here. These guys are travelling faster than the one before. Oh, wait. Right. So again here. Oh, that one's going to completely miss. So these ones should make a... Oh, no. Okay, so those ones are still making darker collision fragments. Okay. Maybe we need a little higher speed then. We'll go to a 1.78 kilometers a second there. So this one here should create a more yellow explosion. No. Okay. So we need to go faster again. Seven kilometers a second. Oh, stop closing. All right. There you go. Okay, no, it's still blacked out. Okay, so let's double that up a bit. There you go. So there you are. So now you can see they're curating yellow fragments due to the higher temperature and power of the collision. So here we are. Oh, is it going to uh, a little faster simulation? There you go. Okay. Oh, there we go. That one's going very quick. But there you go. So they're obviously creating the yellow fragments. I mean, it's going a little too fast for simulation to sort of run with. But yeah, okay. That's cool. I like that. So yeah, there's a, a brief overview of what they have added in this update. Oh, there's a good, uh, good example. Look at that. Hey, that's cool. So yeah, that's cool. So yeah, there we are, guys. Well, that pretty much does it for everything in this update. Yeah, it was just basically the new probe they've added in whoa what the heck what was that all about <laughs> yeah but anyways yeah this update was basically about the new collision physics as we have just seen there and also obviously the probe the dart probe we just uh took a peek at as well so yeah that does it for this sort of a uh, brief look at this update guys so yeah that was all um they added in the patch notes other than that it was just bug fixes and general improvements and stuff like that but no other new content that i can see so if i miss anything please let me know down below in the comments guys but yeah if that all said and done hope you enjoyed today's video checking out the new update and yeah if that all said and done guys make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye